Hey, so as you're creating your marketing strategy for 2022, 2023, <laughs> I want you to think about how you're going to be setting up your content in a way that you're A, repurposing, B, batching, and C, getting it out there multiple times so that you are not having to go in and do this every day. For example, right now I am in a 50 minute batching block of recording videos. This is my third video I recorded in this shirt. This is my last video I'm recording in this shirt. I'm going to take this shirt off and then I'm going to actually put on two other shirts, maybe do bangs, well, one other shirt and I'm gonna do this two more times, I should say. Uh, maybe do bangs, uh, change out my headband and then I'm going to actually record four more videos so that I can have a seven to eight videos that I can use over the next two weeks for me on my social media content. All of it's going to be about productivity. It's going to be about marketing and it's going to be really about building a lifestyle that works for you. And I'm doing this at around 1030 in the morning, my time, because this is when I'm most creative. Most of the time on Mondays, I'm doing this on a Friday, Mondays and Fridays, I don't do any client calls. That is my boundary. I set that time as my CEO time, as my strategy time, as some of my creativity time. And I am actually doing this so that I can be more proactive and have less time on social, um, but creating a bigger impact because I'm getting it done faster. So this is what works for me. I want you to think about this in a way where you're thinking, okay, Shay, I know that I'm most creative at this time of day. I can do this exact same thing. I can do a 50 minute block, take a 10 minute break and maybe do another 50 minute block. And so I'm doing all of my videos in one 50 minute block. And then I am actually going to move into a second 50 minute block where I am going to be um, creating um, um, images. And then I'm going to actually record how I want my images created so that I can share that with my assistant so that she can start to create these images for me so I can remove a piece of this off of my plate. Obviously, she can't record the videos for me because I am front facing. I am the brand of my company. And so the, these videos have to be done by me, which I actually like that because I get to build this relationship with you. Um, so what I want you to do is I want you to think about how you can take this info and turn it into something that works for you so that you're putting consistent content out there because my predictions for 2023, especially in the marketing piece, is that automated web webinars are going out of style, especially in the online business niche. I did not say webinars are dead. Automated webinars where you don't have that personal connection are not going to be as profitable as they once were especially coming out of all of the pandemic stuff, all of the extra disconnected stuff, people are looking for the humanness, the realness, not the perfection, not the not automation. That doesn't mean you can't have automation in your business. Of course you can. It is your business. You can build out automations with the personal touch. But a lot of what's going to happen in 2023 is that people want to be connected with you. And in order for them to be connected with you, they have to see you for the most part. And yes, words can be great. And yes, words can be effective. But people want to know that you're real and they want to know that you're authentic. And to show up in, a, in that way, you're going to have to do it differently. It's not going to be your perfectly perfected Instagram post. It's not going to be that perfect, look at how amazing my family is Facebook post. It's going to be the realness. It's going to be the good. It's going to be the bad. It's going to be the behind the scenes where it's like, oh, I tested this and it didn't work. Not everything does work, but that's what happens when you're creating a strategy like this. So I want you to think about that. When can you create content in a way that feels good to you so that you are consistently, it's snowing outside. My ADHD just kicked in because I saw the beautiful snow and all of that. So. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, when can you create content in a way that feels good to you and doing it consistently? My goal is to do it every Friday or every other Friday so that I am consistently po posting and then also repurposing my content to so that I can 
still be in front of you, still build that connection, but also remove a little bit of me from the equation so that I still can be present with my family and my friends. I want to know, do you have something like this in place? Comment below, share with me, because I would love to know how you batch your content, how you create your content and what it does for you. I hope that you have a great day and I will chat with you soon.